And Stephen Curry in his last 14 games against the Washington Wizards, averaging well over 33 points per game as we welcome in Steph Curry to Warriors Post Game Live. Steph, good afternoon here on the West Coast. I know you're going to the White House tomorrow. You put on another show there at Capital One Arena, and you guys, it felt like you guys really needed this one. And that fourth quarter run sparked by Draymond Green, it had to be great to see. It's whatever it takes at this point for us to, uh, you know, try to right the ship and get some good momentum, some good energy around our team, and an understanding of how to win games on the road. So uh, Draymond was unbelievable in the fourth quarter. Two big threes. Jordan in the first half, you know, kept us alive. Uh, great minutes for us, the, you know, the entire, entire first half, and then some big shots down the stretch. And I think collectively we just had a little bit more uh, – Composure down the stretch, a little bit more intelligence on, again, how to win, how to finish the game, and not get rattled even, even though they went on a run um, in, in that fourth quarter. And Steph, on a back-to-back, -back, he played 38 minutes, get 41.7 rebounds. Uh, like yesterday, a very efficient night as a team, 50-40-90 from the field. Big difference. You guys win the points off turnovers, 21-11. to Talk about the focus on taking care of that basketball. The way we play, we, uh, people hear us say it all the time, it's the balance between that free-flowing kind of chaotic offense and taking some chances. You're going to have some turnovers, but it's the type of turnovers, and then obviously you can't have ones like last night where every time we try to get over the hump, either I was traveling or throwing it to the other team or, you know, turnovers are killing our momentum. So I had a few tonight, but less uh, the, the right type of turnovers, and we got great shots pretty much the whole game. Uh, that's that's the, that's our formula, uh, you know, with our style of play. Steph, great game, man. Uh, we talked earlier before the game oh, about. Oh, Festus, man, we won. Give me some energy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 Steph, Steph, if doesn't do well with these early starts, Steph, uh, low management from my guy. Way, it's way too early for me over here on the, on the West Coast. Hey, but I want to ask you about going to the White House tomorrow. We, you know, we talked earlier about memories from, from the previous years, but what do, you, what do you expect? What do you remember from going to the White House previous years, and what do you expect for tomorrow? It, it's, I mean, like you said, when we went in 2016, it's really – a special uh, you know celebration of you know what basketball has done for all of our lives obviously the, the accomplishment of a championship uh, but being at the white house seeing president biden you know taking the tours enjoying it with our families it, it brings us all together uh, for a good reason and we're excited about you know the celebration the ceremony you know the, the tour uh just an understanding of of what sports does for everybody it brings everybody together um and it's a great you know time to just reflect and obviously, you know, today being uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day and, and all he stood for and the progress that we need to make and uh, continue to, to, to make individually and collectively, uh, it, it's a really good trip for us in, in, in D.C. And, and uh, we're going to definitely be in the moment and enjoy it. All right, before your last White House visit, you scored 51 in front of Barack Obama. I'm not sure if Joe Biden was there. We know Jay Cole was in the building and you dropped 41. Steph, have fun tomorrow at the White House. We'll see you Thursday in Boston. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.